20 years ago today, tattooing in Fort Wayne came up from underground. It became legal in Indiana on July 1st, 1997, and ever since, it's become part of Fort Wayne's culture. We became the 47th, not the last state, but the 47th state to legalize tattooing. When you drive down the street, you see tattoo shops. When you turn on the TV, you see tattoo shows. And when you pass by people, a lot of times you see tattoos. It's hard to remember a time when we didn't see them, but Donnie Manco remembers. When I first started tattooing, there were literally like secret knocks you had to knock on doors. It was very speakeasy. In the mid-1990s, the Fort Wayne native and now owner of New Republic Tattoo knew he wanted to start tattooing. It was illegal in Indiana then, except if it was done by a physician. But soon after, state health officials got on board, and the 1997 General Assembly passed legislation to legalize tattooing. A lot of it spearheaded by State Senator Richard Warman of Leo. Like law still today, that law went into effect on July 1st, 1997. It was more about how do we make them safe or how do we look at them from a safety aspect to say what things might need to be cleaned in a certain way. How do we prevent the spread of disease? And since Fort Wayne hasn't looked back, Manco calls the city a hub for talent. 17-year-old Hunter Strong traveled from out of state to get his first tattoo done by Manco. I'm getting an American flag with an eagle in the middle of it as a patriotic thing. Fourth of July weekend, best time to ever get it. 20 years, 29 shops, and even a yearly convention later, Fort Wayne has adopted tattooing as part of the culture. Fort Wayne, we are a hub of talent. I'm proud of that. I think that Fort Wayneians adopted tattooing early, which is a credit to Fort Wayne. Reporting in Fort Wayne, Kelly Roberts, News Channel 15.